many times I get asked this question a lot. How do I properly place my stop loss? I know that there are many educators out there that have actually shared about this topic. But for me, I'm going to be sharing exactly how I do this. I mean, how I exactly place my stop loss when I'm placing my trades. And also at the end of this video, I'll be sharing why your stop loss can actually lead you to not becoming profitable in your forex journey so strap yourself up and let's get into the video now when it comes to placing your stop loss in my opinion there are usually only two ways that you can actually determine exactly where to place your stop loss and number one is by you actually going ahead and back testing your strategy i mean after several data collected from your back testing this can help determine for you exactly why you're going to be placing your stop loss is it going to be a five pip stop loss is it going to be 10 15 25 uh, pip stop loss i mean this is all determined by your back testing of your strategy once you've back tested very well you have enough data to show you exactly where you should be actually placing your stop loss in the market. So once you have this honed in, then trust me, you will become profitable in the long run as you actually place your trades. The second way that you can actually determine your stop loss, and this is actually an industry standard, is actually by you using the ATR or the average trading range. I mean, previously, if the market has been at a given level, you do not want to place your stop anywhere within that range because many times actually price comes back and it will take you out. When you look at the chart right here, you can clearly see the ATR. You do not want to place your trades anywhere inside this ATR. If you actually placing your stop loss, it should be outside of this ATR to enable you actually be on a safer side when it comes to your stop loss getting run down. So this is exactly where I would place my stop loss assuming I'm actually entering this trade because you can see. Um, so assuming I'm entering it here, I would actually place my stop loss a few pips um, below this ATR so that I have a better chance of actually are being able to stay in my trade for my stop loss not to be run. So what you can do is go ahead. Uh, if you actually use TradingView as your trading platform, you can go ahead uh, search for ATR. Uh, this is the particular. Uh, this is the particular indicator. It's called ATR Stop Loss Finder. So you can go ahead, uh, put it onto your chart for you to be able to use it. Now, of course, we've talked about the stop loss and exactly where you're going to be placing it on your trades. But uh, there's this one golden rule that you should always follow when it comes to the stop loss. And that's not moving your stop loss. When you see price maybe trying to run for your stop loss, please, please leave that stop loss right where it is. Do not touch it because this way you will never become profitable in the forex market because once you keep adjusting it what if price actually stays you know going far and far far ahead or far into a drawdown what will you do with your account so do not touch that stop loss where you've put it it means you've actually already determined the kind of loss you want to take in the market in case this particular trade actually goes against you. So do not touch your stop loss when you've already placed your trade. So this is a golden rule and if you actually follow it, you become profitable. But if you do not and you go ahead and adjust your stop loss thinking that maybe price is going to reverse and go back, it will not work for you and you will never become profitable in the forex market. Okay, now we come to the end of this video and in case you found this video very helpful, please go ahead and give it a like, share it with a friend and you can as well go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on as well so that every time I have a new video out, you do not miss out. And for more forex related content, 
check out this video right next up.